Hi. Hi, it's Emily. And Alex from We've Got Ears. That's us. What are we doing, Alex? We are watching episodes one and two of the new series WandaVision that has come out on Disney+. Plus. Don't and... lie to the people, Alex. We've already watched it. Well, we've already watched it, but we're recording this introduction <laughs> now for it. And we're about to actually sit down and watch the next episode. But we wanted to make sure we got this uh, uh, introduction out for you. And we're going to have episode one and two posted and episode three following right behind it. But you'll see episodes one and two connected. And if you want, we'll put the times to start episode two if you want to skip to episode two. Yeah, so what we did is we watched episode one and two. We captured some live reactions. And then we had a discussion. A discussion. And uh, hopefully um, we'll be more informed discussion on this next episode. Yes. Um, I feel like, spoiler alert, I don't think I'm going to make any new friends from <laughs> my reaction so far. So. Uh, well, you might still because I'm sure there's lots of people that might share your opinion of what's going on or what they think is going on for these uh uh for the series we'll see all right well here you go you're about to watch us watch <laughs> episode one and two one and two of wandavision discuss I forgot she had a superpower. It's exploded things. George! George is demon. What did she just do? She activated his powers. He can control his density. I'm sorry. His power is that he can control. It's one of his, his powers. Density. Yeah, he can become intangible, or he can become super heavy. Not so boring. Um, George, I will end you. Sure, end game. I will end games you. <laughs> no way! Leave the guacamole alone. No, man. I'm sorry. Okay, why is this in some weird black and white? That's what we're gonna find out. I don't know. What is it, the cleavers? What is that called? The yeah, it's kind of like that a little bit, or like it's gonna look like Dick Van Dyke hey. or I Love Lucy or ish genre TV. Marvel Studios I'm presents WandaVision, one of the classic television and Marvel Cinematic Universe, which Wanda Maximoff is the best one. Two superpowered beings living in a daily life of their life begin to suspect that they did not have the same. The new series is directed by Jack Okay, wait, okay, wait, okay, okay, Matt, and, 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 and Jack, and Jack, and as of right now, I'm a little bit mad at you, so, okay, okay. 
something's happening to them. There's got to be, because if I'm taking this at face value, this is a terrible, like, terrible, like, like, bad, right? Okay, like, so if, <clears throat> if you're taking the show at face value, what you just saw from episode one, this is terrible, right? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't. In the, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's unfair. I guess because uh, you're. I, know, I realize that you're not taking it. No, at I don't. Face value. I don't take it at face value. You're seeing a lot more. Yes, because in it to it. Because I, they're more than just these '50s two-dimensional characters that they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I think this is some kind of manipulation. I, I do get that. I just, I just wonder. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if, um, <laughs> I wonder if this whole thing is just going to be like a kitschy TV show. And the reason behind it is because somebody's controlling them. And that's why we get this kitschy TV show. Or if this kitschy TV show is going to morph into something more what we expect. That's what they have. That's what they want us to watch all of the episodes for. Like, yeah, this is going to be a season-long story. No, I understand how TV story. works. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yes, that's what's going to be happening. I don't know how TV works. I just. Um, We're just getting little bits of a bigger story. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. but I understand. Mm -hmm. Like I too am very confused. Yeah, like is this just the kitsch? Like, because this is frankly nauseating. How bad this is, based on. Based on episode one. Based on episode one. You're you know? Um, this is... Yeah, I could, I could say that I only laughed like... A couple times. But I'm I really trying to like look... I'm trying to look really deep into it. Yeah. It's, which I guess is harder for me because... You're more adept at TV than I am. And viewing a TV and like... Um, and obviously this franchise and these characters. I'm more invested with the idea that it's already going to be, I would like, yeah, like, I have I a preconceived notion. You're ready to like good. it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to dislike it. So, yeah, I mean, and I just, I, I understand this is supposed to be ironic. This is supposed to be kitschy. Like, it's supposed to be like um, almost like a parody in a sense of like a like 50s sitcom. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's not like far enough removed like to be a parody, right? Right. Because it's, it's so, this is so, this is formulaic of a 50s sit sitcom. The jokes were straight out of that genre and time period. Mm -hmm. They're dated. They're, there are a lot of jokes that don't land anymore, frankly. That was the point of it. Like, like yeah. what was it? Why was that the point, though? Because the, at that era, they had those off. 
I handed understand the that. Hitting jokes. So they're just making a fifty sitcom. Like that's not creative. That's not pushing any genre forward. That's not like modernizing or contemporizing anything. So to me, it's just like mirroring like bewitched or some or something i love lucy right. or something like that all of that and to me like this has to go somewhere else because this is nauseatingly bad that's i i agree uh, it's going it's not i felt like it didn't for you because i knew you wouldn't be so willing to watch this uh, I feel like they didn't give you enough, like, to be to keep you curious about what's going to be happening next. Like, it still seemed, yeah. Like the only like, thing... like the formula, formulaic style that you were talking about, yeah. Which is not innovative at all. Like, if I want to watch I Love Lucy. Or bewitched, I'll just go watch that. I don't need to see these characters play those parts. Um, so anyway, I saying all that, realizing and hoping that this is going to go somewhere else, and that I might then look back on this episode and say maybe this was a creative choice. This was a innovative choice. That's my hope. Like, I genuinely hope that I will look back on this first episode and be like, and understand the the. I hope so too. I hope so too. Behind this, we're gonna watch all all these. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now, if they're all like this, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's, you know. I understand there are iconic things about Bewitched and I Love Lucy and, and, and things like this for their time. Do we need to rehash that? No. Especially when you're going to use the same jokes, you're going to use the same sexism, you're going to use the same bigotry and racism. But they weren't doing those things. Those things were... I guess they were doing some those jokes too. They were like being like mm -hmm. fully immersed into it. Mm -hmm. The husband and the wife and the wife. Are you sick of your wife burning your toast or whatever? And then, you know, like he made some comment about how they don't break bread with, um, I can't remember what he said. Um, when he was, when Vision was telling his boss and wife that, um, Wanda was from I can't I can't Sokovia. Sokovia and then he said we don't break bread with some derogatory yes yes um, reference to like Eastern Europe right I can't remember what I can't remember what he said I'm not sure I would repeat it if I did um, oh yeah but that was not okay and like I get, I get what their inspiration is and, in, like, where it's rooted in, but, like, do we still need to make those type of remarks and jokes in 2021? No matter, like, where you're pulling this inspiration from, even if you're pulling inspiration from a kitschy 50s sitcom, you can do that in a more modern and innovative way where you, I don't know, you can, you can make the argument that it's a product of its time or whatever, but it's not. It's a product of 2021. And that's why I'm saying, like, it's nauseating to me. Okay. Uh, but like, you know, I said, I, 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 
Yeah, you don't like it. <laughs> okay. I mean, truly not at all what I expected. Um, <laughs> but what about, I mean, I feel like I'm going on about how I dislike it. I, yeah, I, I get you really didn't like it. Um, you have really good reasons. I'm going to say, hmm, yeah, I'm thinking about it differently now from that perspective. And I understand, like, we're watching it from different perspectives because you're looking at it to try to figure out where it's going and yeah. in this universe that you're familiar with, like, what's going to happen. And to me, I can pretty much only take it at face value because I'm not as um, adept in the universe, and especially not these characters, as you are. So my point of view is very much from somebody coming, you know, kind of from that point of view, you know, so, but. Uh. But, yeah, they're supposed to be stuck in a 50s TV show where all of these uh -huh. things were still occurring. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and we all have to suffer because of it. <laughs> yes. But, so overall, do you think like you're eager to see like where this goes and what happens? I really want to see you're... where it's going because I want to see. Yeah, I do want to see where it's going. I want the story to continue and show me within a few episodes why I should continue to watch it because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I will give it the benefit of that doubt at the very least. I will give it a few episodes to decide whether or not to continue watching it. I know you can't always decide based on the first episode. Right. It's not enough information. But, boy. It, like, honestly, if it weren't for you... Wanting to watch this into us agreeing that we're going to watch this together and do this review of it. Yeah. I would not. I would not. I would have stopped watching. I know. I know. There. I know. You, you would not have paid attention. Okay. Well, that's the review, I guess. But for you, you feel like. There's not too, too much to say about this one, but you really want to see... I want to like, see where it's going to go. Where it's going to go. Yeah, I want to I wanna figure out the mystery. Okay, so you're intrigued. I am. I'm okay. intrigued. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. watch episode two episode two because they released them as a two as one and two and we're gonna get a bigger picture i feel after that well thought out review i will say i feel like there's a reason that they released one and two because like maybe you're supposed to watch them back to back and that's why we're doing it this way
I mean, I, I think I like might recognize Skull of the Tentacles. You're right, yeah. It was, so it wasn't that, so I don't know. The only bad thing that I would know from this anyway. Thanos, it was a Thanos. <laughs> Thanos, Inc. Do you think it's weird that she doesn't have an access to this? That's it. Yeah. Yes. Strucker. That says Hydra. Yeah. Strucker is with Hydra. Yeah. Look at the horse! Dancing horse? It's a dancing horse! Hey, you're gonna love this show. It's a dancing horse. For like three seconds. We got a lot more in that one. A lot, a lot more heartburn? <laughs> no. That's what I got. No, I think that, that really gave me more, like, it gave me more, like, proof that it's being, a, something's happening to them. Well, yeah, like, clearly something's manipulating this, right? It is kind of Truman Show-ish. Okay. But the fact, like, obviously their minds are being controlled by this TV interface thing, reality that they're dealing with. So it truly is evil, and that's why I hate it. Is that what I mean? Like, is that it? This, like, okay, so this is the way I can reason this, right? Whatever is controlling them truly is evil. Yeah. That's why I hate this. And I'm supposed to hate it. He obviously saw that person in the suit that was surrounded by bees or something. Yeah, okay, the, what's the bee flies, keeper? Beekeeper, or those were flies from the sewer, but they were in some kind of like hazmat suit, and they had the same... Like that logo was on that pl red plane that came out of the. Oh, of the was sky. it? Yeah, it was the same like circle of the sword. So okay. that's all connected, and the fact that that was red, and then she bled red. Mhm. Mm and everything, everything was colorized at the end, but red was a predominant color. Yes. In the colorization. Yes. At the end, obviously, Vision's red. Wanda is. The, like red. The power ish or yeah, whatever. And the costume themes in the movies of red. Now. Right. She's Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet Witch. Witch, yeah. Okay. And the fact that like the people's minds were seriously starting to like freak out when the, his powers were coming out, like until she did something that seemed like it was beyond them like being like impressed by the illusion. They were scared. Right, and the radio signal said Wanda, who's doing this and to it, you, and that, right? And that blonde woman heard it too, and she like cut her hand when she freaked out. Okay, so you think they're also being tortured as opposed to they're in on the manipulative side of it? Yeah, I think I think it's probably important to the torture to make her believe it because she has like psychic powers, mm -hmm. and if she if those people were coming at her with some kind of malicious intent, she'd probably be able to like pick up on it and read them. I mean, episode two does make it clear that there should be more to this story than just being some hacky version of a mid-century sitcom. Episode two did not make me like it. I will say. Okay. Like, it's not like I suddenly like it. Um, 
there's obviously still a lot of questions, right? There's absolutely a lot of questions. I don't know. I still feel pretty dumbfounded about it. I think it's also part of the point. Ugh, see why though? Oh, I don't know. It's it, they're just baiting us. They want us to keep watching to find out the answer to these questions that they've like put in our heads now. What's I, happening to them? Yeah. Why is it happening? Who's doing it? And you find that very interesting. Yeah, I do. I find it very aggravating. <laughs> and I'm like, don't tell me why I should be interested in this. Just be interesting. Do not tell, give me a little tidbits of like why I maybe should be interested in this. Just make it interesting. Like, don't be like, don't worry, Emily. This will be interesting in four to five episodes. <laughs> <laughs> like, do I have all the time in the world? No. Just be interesting like baby girl. That's what she needs. She needs a baby Just be super cute. That's what she's missing from the show. And she'd be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, okay, so, for instance, the Mandalorian, mm -hmm. yes, is Grogu has adorable baby Yoda, okay, but it's still, it's just an interesting show, it's good stories, yeah, it's good and, like, show. I don't, I don't watch it going, like, Okay, I'm going to suffer through one more episode to see why I think this should be interesting. It just is. You still have a lot of questions about this show, even though you know a lot about these characters. Oh, yes, that's true, yes. Okay, so I, even, even people who know a lot about Marvel Universe. I don't know universe. everything about Marvel. Well, I know that yeah. you don't know everything, but you know a lot about Marvel Universe. So even for you at this point, you still have a lot of questions about this show and what... Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And like... I don't know what's happening right now, so like... <laughs> I'm like, why doesn't... Okay. I have, I have some like guesses, but like... Like, you know, it's, it's a, some kind of torture that's happening to them. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why or how it mm -hmm. could be like that. Because maybe it's not. It, like, maybe it's something that she's doing, trying to, like, save him because he's still dead after Endgame. Vision's gone. And so is uh, Black Widow. Because the stone was ripped out of him by Thanos. Uh, and because of that, he doesn't get to come back with the, with the, with Tony snap, Iron Man snap. I'm gonna snap myself into the bed. <laughs> I'm gonna snap it's myself a, back tomorrow. It's just a snap, and then you're off to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is how we go to bed. This is how we wake up. On a snap. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I think this has broken my brain officially. Very tired and gotta sleep on it. God, I hope I don't think about this any more past this point. Like, <laughs> I really hope I don't think about this show until it's time to watch it again. You probably won't. I will. I'll think about it. You will. Now. Which is good. You'll come up when, you know, you'll ruminate on it and you'll figure things out. Because this is how Alex operates when he watches things like... Well, I actually really like... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it and I'll question it. Yeah. And then like two days later, he'll be like... So in the movie Soul, like, wait, uh, like, what? Wait, what? What were we talking about? And like, he, he'll be like, you just have realized something because he's thought about it. That like, so he'll that's how. Sit in my brain, and I'll be like, he oh, operates. He what, thinks why about. Did this happen? Yeah, he thinks about TV and stories and stuff like that. Like, try to try to figure out 
every layer to it. Sometimes and I think too hard about it, and I like, mm-hmm. it, like I'll have questions that kind of break it. Yeah, and I am very surface level when it comes to um, most TV and entertainment. Like we have some things that we have more discussions about when we watch, but. Um, to me, with fictional entertainment, I am pr- I'm more surface level with these things. Um, and I like to imagine the entire to, world of it yeah. from every angle. I'm like, yeah. take a look at it and flip it around and look upside down and analyze it and think about it like it's mm-hmm. a whole puzzle. And there are things that I do think about that, but for me, it's more like nonfiction things. You are probably, honestly, a better critic of TV and movies than I am for that reason. I'll just quit. I'll just quit watching something, and I'll I'll just be like, no, not for me, and I'll just be like, (laughs) you know. I really like movies. yeah, and, and you really, yeah, you have that relationship with it that um, makes you a better critic. So it's easy for me to sit here and be like, this is terrible. <laughs> I think the point was for that, it was supposed to portray all of those like genres like, like that 50 genre and that was yeah. supposed to be what it was supposed to look like and now it's not it's going to turn into something else it's okay. going to probably also have some other tasteful uh television references of the eras that they have do you mean t- tasteful do you do by tasteful do you mean not probably tasteful? not tasteful yeah probably i'm just okay. preparing you okay just so you know that's what's going to be most my best guess of, of what's going to be coming. Just now in color, too. Now in color. Fully in color. But then they'll... Just add Wanda. 